the Vice Blattner, European economist at Daiwa Capital Markets, previously worked at the ECB for seven years at the Monetary Policy Strategy Division. We should not be surprised by a slowdown in Germany because the first quarter results were really quite extraordinary. This, however, appears to be rather worrying. It is, yeah. This is a very disappointing number. I mean, I think we all were expecting something in the neighborhood of 0.4. Optimists would even say 0.8 percent, something like that. But 0.1 is certainly a very big disappointment. We haven't got the breakdown yet, but right. what's your sense of, of where things have really slowed down here? Yeah. I think what was obvious that uh, the first quarter growth was driven by investment. So investment, it was clear that investment would decelerate, but it must have decelerated a lot. And then obviously also the contribution from net experts. The global economy is slowing. We have had a lot of signs from China, from Asia, also from the United States. So obviously there Germany has also lost a little bit in terms of net exports contribution. There is so little confidence out there. What effect do you think this will have on that very fragile sentiment that we're seeing, not just in Europe, but frankly, around the world? Absolutely. It will not help. Also, we had the disappointing French numbers already out last week. So now growth in the euro area as a whole is really set to be a very disappointing number, and that won't help. I mean, people are really looking for something that gives them confidence, as you're saying right now, in the whole, in the, amid the step crisis that we have. And now growth is also stagnating. That's very, very bad. Bad signal. And what about the other countries? We've got a lot of other growth figures coming out from various European countries today. You have to say, uh, do you expect more of a slowdown in those peripheral countries? Because if you haven't got the growth there, that's just going to add to that spiral of debt that they're already in. Absolutely. I mean, the peripheral countries were already in a deep recession in some of the countries. I mean, Italy posted uh, a small solid growth of 0.2%. Uh, that looks good now amid these other numbers, actually. But obviously, the other peripheral countries, the bailout countries in particular, they will need at least another one year until the reforms kick in and growth can really spur. So we are still looking for a, a couple of quarters now. The, all the PMIs for the second half of the year are pointing towards even a sharper deceleration. So some countries might even slip into a recession eventually towards the end of the year. So we have to be patient, I guess, for good numbers. Well, patient is one thing. What can be done? Are there anything that specifically governments can do to actually start boosting exports, for instance, which is really key at the moment? Well, that is true. But unfortunately, we are now at one point in our economies in which, for example, we cannot spend Fiscal, on the fiscal side, we cannot do more. People, uh, governments actually have to cut their, government, their, their expenditures right now simply because markets are not uh, trusting them anymore. And then also on the monetary policy side, we just had the Fed that actually said that they would extend their low interest rates for another at least two years, and the ECB is already also at its lower margin. So there's not much more stimulus we can really do, and this is, I think, one of the key problems we are facing right now. And this is also a, a global event because we are seeing a slowdown in China, a slowdown sort of in the United States as well. Can you just put this into some sort of context? Are we on the verge of a big precipice here? It might be. It might well be that uh, at the end we are slipping now. People were hoping it was a soft landing, but eventually we are actually looking into a second a double depreciation. This is what markets are fearing about. And this is also the, the stock market, the reaction over the past two or three weeks was part of that. I think it was pricing in something that looks not as optimistic now as people were hoping at the beginning of the year. Okay, Tobias Blattner, really good to talk to you. Thank you very much.